I believe with this game you can like bring the passion out of you, the fire out of you, like to show who you really are. Some of the best basketball players in the world come from this immigrant district in Athens, Greece. I imagine my future when I play basketball. Most of these young athletes would be thrilled to play in the major league of Greece or anywhere in Europe. It's a sport that you can actually find yourself. But the real dream is to play in the U.S. and become a star like the NBA's MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I believe that's a guy like me who started from small, from Sepolia, and now he's in the NBA. Giannis grew up on these streets while the far right was on the rise. Now he's leading NBA strikes in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. We want change. We want justice. Yep. Yes. And uh, that's what we are here. That's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do. The journey from sports star to social justice activist all started here. Giannis has now become a symbol for these kids of what shooting hoops and dreaming big can achieve. When I was watching his games, you know, like the first time, I was like, yeah, I want to be like this one day. Sometimes I need to know how to you know, copy the moves. And, and so. Felix Ogbede is an up-and-coming basketball player in this area. His coach, Spiros Belenaitis, is famous for discovering Yanis Antetokounmpo in 2008, when he was a 13-year-old kid playing on a basketball court just like this one. At that moment, to see Yanis and his brothers, I was struck by lightning. And uh, I realized that this kid was something special. The fire you could see in his eyes and the determination in his action. As a sports scout, Spiro spends hours nurturing talent on the ball course of central Athens. This district is rapidly undergoing gentrification, but is still home to thousands of immigrants, most of them from the Middle East and Africa. Basketball uh, for uh, the Greek people uh, is a way to show their national pride. Greece ranks among the top 10 basketball leagues in the world. Spiros says that the game is a way to bridge the gap between immigrants and the wider Greek society. This was the reason why I tried to invest my time, my feelings, uh, my emotion into these projects to incorporate those kids in as much as I can to, to the Greek society. Spiros sees in his new recruit, Felix, much of what he saw in Giannis back in 2008. Felix Ubede, he has all the features that can make a superstar. The point is if we can create the environment for those features to develop. Yeah, I believe I, I can be in the NBA one day. It's my dream. Spiros has been helping Felix get ready for the NBA draft. But as a first-generation Nigerian immigrant born in Greece, Felix has faced many challenges. The life was so difficult. Felix's parents came from Nigeria 20 years ago, thinking that Greece would provide a home and a better future for their kids. But they were met with racism. When we go out to look for a job, they will say, oh, we need white, Filipino. It was so scary. As a child, Felix had to help his dad sell magazines on the street just to put food on the table. So, my son too, once he closed from school, he has to follow his dad to help him to sell. Maybe if they see a child, they can say, oh, this child needs money to eat, they can buy something from him. Over the years, things did get better for the family. But the decade-long Greek economic crisis and the pandemic have been taking a heavy toll. Yes, when I play basketball, it really helps me to forget, like, if I'm hungry or something, I'm done feeling well. I go outside and shoot some hoops. They make me cool down. Coming to a place where they can live out all their problems and focus on expressing their emotions brings to these kids light and hope. Spiros is one of the founders of Endaios, a basketball club made up mainly of kids born to immigrant parents. Most of them are of African heritage. Miriam Irarui is one of the star players on their women's team. With the team, I feel very comfortable because we are not just a team. I can say that we are also a family. 
Despite having fewer resources than most other clubs, her team is a serious contender in Athens Youth Basketball League. They need to win this game to make it past the first round of the tournament. Outside the court, Miriam is just a teenager and things haven't been easy of late. My grandma just died and um, he really wants to go to Nigeria because he wanted to see her before she died, but he don't have like the papers, like the Greek passport to go there right now. Miriam was born in Greece, but as a minor, she currently doesn't have Greek citizenship because her family doesn't have the necessary documents. It's making me feel angry because he's shared like a lot of years, a lot of years, and he doesn't have the, like, the papers to go wherever he wants or visit. Miriam's family story is not exceptional. Until recently, it's been very difficult for African immigrants, including kids born in Greece to immigrant parents, to obtain legal residency or citizenship. It's a process they can only start at 18. Not being legal residents means these children have no access to national health care and can't travel freely. This was an issue even for Yanis Antetokounmpo. Nikos Varlas, a sports journalist who also works for Yanis' endorsements team, said that Giannis only obtained citizenship before traveling to the U.S. in order to be able to play on the Greek national basketball team. Giannis was trying, and all the family, to, to take Greek passports uh, at least two, three years before he gets drafted uh, from the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, they were unable to get a passport. And there are so many families of immigrants exactly like Yanis families. Uh, they were born here, they went to school here, they feel Greeks, they have maybe African or some some other DNA, but they feel Greeks. Aside from being denied legal status, immigrants also have to deal with threats posed by right-wing extremists. When Giannis was growing up in central Athens, this immigrant district became the center of far-right attacks. Giannis Yavs uh, were the same years that uh, we had a fascist movement here in Greece exploding. So there are few stories with them going after him. They didn't know him, he was just black. But this is something not only Yanis, but many you know, African immigrants or black people face in Greece. Yanis's experience with racism in Greece is perhaps one of the reasons why he, as a star player for the Milwaukee Bucks, helped lead the NBA strike in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. We want change, we want justice. Yes. And uh, that's what we are here, that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do. Now, uh, with the last incident that happened in the USA with, with Floyd, uh, Yanis took over a leader role, you know, and was the first one to go to the demonstrations. And also his team was the first team that he didn't again to play in a game. They took a historical position. Yanis has become an important role model. For many immigrant kids in Greece, he's a living testament that basketball can be a route to a better future. Yanis' uh, story uh, has created a new explosion uh, to people that they are immigrants. It's very important, you know, to, to have something to get into, to be inspired and to, to dream about. And big dreams sometimes start small. Today, Miriam has to focus on her game. Miriam and Angaios have won their game, meaning she's one step closer to winning the tournament. But whether these kids make it to the big leagues or not, their determination to make better lives for themselves is clear. My dream before, if I was not playing basketball, I want to be a lawyer, I think. Lawyer or maybe footballer. So now I'm just focusing much on basketball and I believe you will make it in a good way. I just want people to know my name. Here is Prince, a guy trying to be the great. I know that I was born here, I was raised here, I go to school here, and somehow I'm Greek and I'm proud that I'm black.